Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at the student view on how a student would access a PDF through Google Classroom, open it with DocHub, mark the text, and turn it in. So this is the student view here. So the most recent assignment here was this right here. And the teacher has given me this PDF where it says mark the text by highlighting main ideas, underline important dates, and circle words you don't understand. So as a student here, I'm going to open this up. And now that I'm, I have it open, I can't do anything with it yet. So I'm going to go to the three dots right here. Say open in a new window. And now I have this choice here that says open. So I'm not going to open with Google Docs. I'm going to go to the drop down menu here. And I'm going to select Doc Hub. Now, students here in Arosi, they are most, if not all, are very familiar with Doc Hub. It's going to take a second to open up. i got to put in my, my name, allow permission for Doc Hub. Most kids have done this already, so this will be a step that they will they will be able to skip. Now it's loading. Now I'll be able to use all of Doc Hub's tools to mark the text. So highlighting was one of them. So right up here, right here we have our highlight tool. Um, <clears throat> let's say that this is a a main idea. I'm just going to make it up right now. I can just draw a little box around there, and now that area has been highlighted. Uh, I can use my drawing tool to underline things or circle things. There you go. Sometimes it takes a second. There's a little lag, so don't do it over and over. Otherwise, you're going to have multiple circles, but kids are pretty much know how to, how to do this. There's a variety of other tools that you can use, but we're going to do the just the basics here today. Go back to my pointer tool. And we'll assume that I am done with this. I've done my work as a student. I'm going to go up to the download button here. Click on Classroom. Create share link. Click the Classroom button. Now, I want to open up my classes. I'm enrolled in this one here. I'm going to choose the assignment, which is this right here. And I click Go. It's going to upload my marked text to Google Classroom, and then I click Attach, and my assignment is ready to turn in. So I'm going to go and view my assignment here as a student. I see that I've uploaded my work, so now I'm going to click Turn In, and my text marking has now been turned in. And this saves the teacher a lot of time without having to go to the copy machine.